find the tangent line for the equation xy to the 1 half equal to 1 plus x at the point x comma y equal to 1 comma 4. Once you have that, use the tangent line to approximate the point on the graph where x is equal to 1.1. 1 .1. First thing I should do is check that my point satisfies the equation. So I put 1 comma 4 in for x and y in the equation, and what do we get? We have 1, 4 to the 1 half equals 1 plus 1, or 2 equals 2, so that's good to go. Now, I want the equation of a tangent line, so what do I need? I need a point, and I need a slope. Our point's given to us is 1 comma 4, so we just need the slope. The slope is going to be given by getting y prime through implicit differentiation, and then we put 1 comma 4 into our equation for our derivative. So, how does implicit differentiation work? Well, we're given an equation. That's what we're given in the statement of the problem. If I take the derivative of both sides of the equation, what comes out stays equal. As a further step, we're going to treat y as a function of x. So whenever I hit y with a derivative with respect to x, I have to chain rule, meaning we just have to multiply by a y prime. Okay, then we have to worry about algebra to get y prime by itself. The way we do that is, once you've taken all your derivatives, separate out the y prime and the non-y prime stuff. For the y prime stuff, you'll pull a y prime out, then just divide by what's left over on both sides. And then you'll have y prime isolated. Okay, let's do our derivative. So what's gonna happen here? For that first term, we have x, y the one half. I'm gonna take the derivative of that with respect to x. So that's gonna be initially a product rule. What we're gonna have, we're gonna have one times y to the one half plus x times the derivative of y to the one half. To do y to the one half, we're gonna use chain rule. So I cover the y up, we just have something to the one half power. So the half comes down and we subtract one off the exponent making it a minus a half. We put our y back in and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is y. So that's just gonna be a y prime. We don't know what that derivative is, we call it y prime because we want to solve for that later on. On the other side, we have 1 plus x. If we take its derivative, we're going to get 1. So what are we left over with? It's going to be y the 1 half plus x times 1 half y the minus 1 half y prime is equal to 1. Now what do we do? Well, I'm going to separate the y prime and non-y prime stuff. So that just means putting the y to the 1 half on the other side as a minus y to the 1 half. And now I'm just going to divide by what's in front of our y prime. So once I do that, y prime is isolated as 2 radical y, 1 minus radical y, everything over x. So that's y prime. We want a number, though, for our slope. So now we have to put 1 and 4 in there and see what happens. So when we do that, we're going to get a minus 4. So, equation of the tangent line, y minus y zero equals slope times x minus x zero. So I have y minus four equals minus four, x minus one. That's our equation of our tangent line. Now, we want to approximate the point on the graph where x equals 1.1 using this line. So I just put 1.1 in for x and see what comes out. So when I do that, we get a 3.6. Now, if we want the actual value, we can get that. Okay, you'll notice here, we can just start putting our 1.1 in and then just solve for y. And you'll note here, there's only gonna be one value of y to worry about. It's gonna be a function through y at our point, our point x equal to one. So when I solve for that using the calculator, we get 3.645. And you'll notice that point for y, is coming out very close to what we got with the tangent line. So our approximation is decent.